नमस्ते गुरुकुलियंस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ द चैप्टर रेशो एंड प्रोपोर्शन व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू क्लास 6 चैप्टर नंबर 10 एंड द टॉपिक इज यूनिटरी मेथड बेसिकली स्टूडेंट्स इट इज अ मेथड टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ द क्वांटिटी ऑफ यूनिट क्वांटिटी और वी कैन से दैट इट इज यूज्ड टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ सिंगल क्वांटिटी Here, see the definition. What is unitary method? It is method of finding the value of unit quantity of an item on the basis of the given information, and then finding the value of desired quantity of same item. I hope you clear the definition of unitary method. Now we will. Go to one example. The cost of fifty kg of apples is rupees four hundred. It is the given information, and we have to find the cost of one kg of apple. And after that, we have to find the cost of ten kg of apples. Now look at this. How can we do this example? Write it here. solution cost of cost of 50 kg of apples that is equal to rupees 400 now cost of 1 kg of apple apples that is equal to 400 divided by 50 that is equal to 8 it means cost of 1 kg of apples is rupees 8 and after that we have to find cost of 10 kg of apples that is equal to 10 multiplied Eight. That is equal to rupees eighty. It means if we have to purchase ten kg of apples, we have to give rupees eighty to the shopkeeper. Listen, the example number two is cost of three dozen oranges is rupees fifty four. How many oranges can be purchased for rupees twenty four? Now listen, students. First of all. You have to know that how many quantities in one dozen? How many numbers? You know that one dozen is equal to twelve number, and here three dozen. Three dozen is equal to twelve into three. It means twelve is a thirty-six. That means if we want to find the solution of this example. Here, cost of thirty-six oranges is equal to rupees fifty-four, and cost of one orange is equal to fifty-four by thirty-six. Is it clear? Now, we cut both denominators and denominator and numerator. Eighteen to the thirty-six and eighteen to the Fifty-four. It means cost of one orange is rupees three by two. Now we have to find how many oranges can be purchased of rupees fifty-four. Now number of oranges that can be purchased. For rupees twenty-four, that is equal to twenty-four by three by two. It means that a twenty-four multiply two by three. Three is a twenty-four, and eight multiply two is sixteen. That is the number of oranges that we can purchase for rupees twenty-four is sixteen. That is the 
and if my answer. I hope you must be clear. Now proceed to answer. Example number third. A car travels 176 km in 8 liters of petrol, and we have to find how much distance can it cover in 11 liter. It is also based on the unitary method. First of all, you write a car travels 8 liter in a car travels 176 km in 8 liter of petrol. You write distance covered in 8 liter by car that is equal to 176 km now with the help of unit method distance covered in 1 liter by car that is equal to 176 by 8 that is equal to 8 to the 16 8 to the 16 40 2 kilometers after that you have to find distance covered in kilometer liter distance covered in kilometer liter by car that is equal to 11 multiplied 22 it means 242 kilometers i hope both of these example you must be clear these three example based on the unitary method which we learnt today on the behalf of this topic you can do the last exercise of this chapter and finally i am saying that the whole chapter ratio and proportions has completed and after that you have to solve all the exercise and also practice questions which are provided by me in the form of pdf and you send me after doing in the respective groups of mathematics so for today it is sufficient thank you have a nice day